Hey, what's going on? Eric Cortina, Texas Barn Dominions. As you can see in the background here, we're getting ready to pour some concrete. It is uh, 5.40 a.m. So 6 a.m. the trucks are gonna be here and we're gonna get going. Uh, this lab's about 2,500 square feet. So there is some rain in the forecast about 10 a.m. So our plan is to get it all poured out, obviously before then. And then in case it does start raining, we can cover it up. So we'll see, wish us luck. All right, so as you guys can see, we got us a new trailer and we are getting it all set up for finishing concrete. So that's something we've been working on. And uh, I'm gonna give you a quick, a quick tour. So as you can see, all of our trial machines are on one side. We have uh, my bull float here. We have our uh, Mag Vibe up there. We have my roller bug right here. My Fresno. We have our uh, silica sprayer there. Gas can. We have our poles for our bull float. We have our bump cutter up there and our uh, screed 16 footer. We have our brooms right there hanging on the wall. We have our uh, jitterbug right there. Our small Fresno. We have our Darby right there. We got a generator over here. And of course that plug hooks up to that generator. And then all these plugs on the trailer will be energized. We have our uh, day one over here. So still a work in progress. We, there's some more stuff we want to do to this trailer. But for now, it's working pretty good. We have our chargers in there. Uh, we're gonna get set up so we can have our chargers and everything in here. But I think it's looking pretty good. As you can see, we got the lights going. Pretty well lit up now. In about 10 minutes, the trucks should start showing up. If you guys notice, we're doing rebar on this one. All right, so as you can see, we're done pouring. However, we did get some rain on the slab. Uh, the rain has passed for now. There is more in the forecast. And you can see it's pretty cloudy. The sun's trying to peek through right there, but no luck. So the pump's folding up. He's about to get out of here. We are waiting on a kicker to finish off the uh, beams over by the piers. Let me go show you that. So we have the piers, we have a pier there that they're working on. Then I have another pier over here. And then we have some below ground beams. So these beams are 20 inches deep. As you can see, we have steel in them. So the purpose of these below ground beams is to tie these piers back to the building. Because the building, you know, the roof line on the building is all one piece. So they want to make sure that it stays together. So that's what the purpose of these beams are. Uh, after we do this, we put up the building. Customer's gonna come back and put some road base under here. This is what we call roof extension. But uh, anyway, that's what all these uh, beams are for. So they're just gonna get filled in with concrete and covered up with dirt. But uh, anyway, like I said, we got some rain on the slab. Hopefully we don't get any more. It wasn't much, but it was enough to uh, get it pretty wet. At this point, it's not a problem. However, uh, after they gave it a couple of passes with the trial machine, if it does it again, it'll, it'll be a problem. All right, so Manny's back. He brought some plastic just in case it rains again, we can cover it up. Like I said, right now it's not critical. It's actually going to help the concrete. When you start having problems, when you get so much rain that it actually starts to wash off the surface, because you know, all that cement goes with it, with the water, right? So that's when you start having problems. If that was to happen to you, obviously cover it as fast as you can so you don't lose any of that paste. If you do lose it, go get you some Portland cement, dust it on there, obviously after the rain stops, and uh, work it in uh, with, with uh, pan floats they work the best but obviously that's worst case scenario you don't want that to happen <laughs> so you want to prevent it as much as you can so that's why 
like I said, we got some poly here. If it starts to rain again, we're gonna cover it up and then just wait it out. All right, so another thing that has happened is the temperature has dropped by 20 degrees. That's why we're getting the rain. A, a cold front's blowing in, so obviously that's gonna slow everything down. Uh, we are pouring 3,000 straight sack, which uh, should speed it up a bit. But again, we got some rain on it. Temperature dropped and uh, it's gonna be cloudy all day. So cross your fingers because <laughs> all it takes, it doesn't take much. All it takes is 10 minutes of hard rain and it's, we have a nightmare on our hands. So cross your fingers. I'll keep you updated. All right, so as you guys can see, we missed the rain. The sun is starting to peek through. However, it got very windy, okay? Um, wind is not good. It dries out the surface too fast. We did not get to spray the day one because it was raining. So the guys still have a couple passes left on the, the slab. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get that sprayer and we're gonna spray some day one and get them to travel it in. Uh, it's a finishing aid as well. Plus, it's a curing agent, so uh, my hope is that we're gonna put it down, work it in, and that's gonna help with this wind, okay? Uh, anything that evaporates the water too fast off the surface is a bad thing, okay? So keep that in mind. Maybe one more pass and it'll be done. As you can see right now, he's going up and down like this. The next pass is gonna go this way, and that should be able to knock it out. Uh, when he does that, he's probably gonna go all the way to this one and then this one need a couple of more passes so it's getting close as you guys can see the sun's out now so that's gonna speed things up drastically which is another reason that the day one is going to help us because we don't want it to speed up too fast now we want to keep it slow guys can see we got it done all the guys are gone it's just Manny and I that are left behind as you guys know I like to water cure these slabs but today we're not gonna do that mother nature's gonna do that for us it's actually very good timing because by the time that rain gets here it's gonna water cure our slab so all is good anyway we'll see you next time we are Texas Barnum Mediums